Hi everyone, it's Jim and Bob here bringing you yet another Blood Bowl encounter. I just can't get enough of this sport, Bob, and I imagine that it's the same for our viewers. They love it, Jim. And we'll soon be providing even more bloody images thanks to our new fist cam technology. Yes, it's amazing how many cameras you can build into a knuckle duster. Just look at the way his feet and hands are twitching. The punch is still echoing round his body. <laughs> you can't say much about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. Somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. But that won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> Three for all, one out. This player is going to have a little nap. And the wake-up will not be too early after this one. A player that bad should not be allowed on the pitch. Hey, did he think he'd take off his mittens or something? Clearly. I know he had a front row seat for that assault, but I doubt he fully appreciate it. He won't appreciate the gaping wound either. <laughs> Touchdown! Well, let's hope that it's the first of many. The ball goes skywards, and the match is on! Brilliant pass! As you say, good job! I bet that hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see... More, more often. often. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. This one is going to get the hand slapped at the end of the match. Better a smack on the hand than a punch in the face. He checked that move. Made him look stupid, you mean. Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Doping is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? This player has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. I doubt he'll be taking any further part in the match after that blow. No, no, he's still got two legs. He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. I think he's singing him a lullaby. Clean take up there, nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. This player needs some time to get his senses back. What a coward. Get up, loser. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Opponent down! This is good sport! Yeah. That's one regulation clobbering! player gets hold of the ball. I don't know if he really liked that uppercut. He may not have liked it, but he certainly ate it. What? <laughs> right on the schmuzzle. He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. Sidekick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. Down and quite stunned, apparently. Oh, a few slaps in the face, and anybody can wake up instantly. Oh, yay! The living dead! Now, I've always wondered if an undead player can die. Of course they can, Bob. Really, Jim? Luckily for him, he's in a coma. Yeah, but I think it will still be hurting when he comes round in a day or two. Mm -mm.
The ball's in play. That's the sort of technical error that can cost you the game. He made picking that ball up look easy. Somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. But that won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> oh no, just look at that. You'd think it was the first time he tried to pick up a ball. Ain't that the truth? I think he's singing him a lullaby. Blood Bowl players are getting more like their Albion League cousins every day. Now, that wasn't a light touch that put him down, Jim. That was a solid chop to the back of the neck. Not long left now. I think we can pull the day Not here. so fast, Jim. I've got a feeling that they haven't said their last word. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob. That player is taken away on a stretcher. But still alive, I can see the drool. Boom! That player goes directly to the dugout. Well, at least it's not the morgue. They can start to move forward. Down and quite stunned, apparently. Oh, a few slaps in the face and anybody can wake up instantly. He should have wiped his hands. Yeah, blood does make things a bit slippery. Did you hear about the Evil Gits? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. Touchdown coming up! Let's go, guys! That could be a very important touchdown. Every touchdown is important, Jim. But in the final minutes of the game, they count double. Here we go again for another bloodbath. Missed! The ball bounced everywhere! I was told that you can find round balls. Much less fun. Wow! I can tell you straight, that hurts. What finesse, what style, what perfection. What a hammer blow! The match is drawing to a close. Can either team produce something at the deck? A homicide? Uh, you think he'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. They can start to move forward. That's one regulation clobbering. Is it an eagle? Is it a doom diver? Is it a cannonball? No, no it's a pass! <laughs> ah! That touchdown will keep fans glued to their seats right to the final whistle. Even longer for some, as I've heard that a prankster smeared several with troll-type glue. He's got a hand to the ball. Yeah, now he's looking around for support. That player is going to wake up with a serious headache. Just look at the way his feet and hands are twitching. <laughs> the punch is still echoing around his body. <laughs> Looks like the kick to the thorax finished them off. From the outset, the opposition didn't let them settle into their game. 
and they just continued to up the pressure. A defeat that must leave a bitter taste in the mouth. They had the majority of the ball, but they did nothing with it. Too many continental players, ballerinas, just pushing the ball around, but no real bite. Even with the best player on the pitch, they managed to lose. Imagine what the score would have been if he wasn't there. The opposition certainly confined them to their own half. We've had an action-packed game with plenty of violence. Yeah, non-stop. That's one of the positives of a pre-match boost. Was the ref watching the same match as us? I mean, I saw several incidents that merited a sending off. Perhaps he was enjoying the spectacle.